everybody, this is Alchemist 2, and I'm back again with another series review. This was just a one-shot uh, documentary series that was done by Netflix, but watching it made me feel very uncomfortable with the way food is actually handled in our country. They dealt with honey, peanuts, um, poultry, milk, fish... And I'm trying to think if there was any other thing that they dealt with in that particular series. I don't think so. I, I, there were six episodes in all. But it just really gave you pause about how corrupt the whole system, so-called, really is. And it just it's another reflection on how capitalism doesn't work. But I don't know if um, socialism would work that well either in, in this situation. But it was said the best in the episode called uh, Cod is Dead when one of the fishermen was speaking of the economic model doesn't really serve its purpose because the economists aren't looking at our side or the fisherman side of the equation. I thought, no, they're not. That's very true. And coming from a farming background, I might, I'm not a farmer, but I respect the farmers and their industry and what they do and how they do the work because it, this is not easy. My dad grew up knowing what, what, it, what it was like. He, he witnessed what life was like on the farm, so that's probably why I think you have to have farms. And the farmers, just this now more of a... Um, a fad now it's more of a hobby than a said lifestyle and that when I was growing up the farm itself everybody thought oh look at how hard they're working and everything they're doing in order to keep food on the table and prepare pr provide for their own and, and nowadays this isn't that expensive why are they doing that that's so foolish that's really not um mess just completely insane why would why would they be doing that knowing that they're not going to get nearly as much as they're putting in for their the product and then again you've got stuff like raw milk coming back and yeah i'm not even going to get into that debate but <laughs> it's controversial but it's just it's it's interesting it's it's very intriguing and it talks a lot about just the whole system how messed up it is that all the all the episodes were just very revealing and, and very um thought provoking in the way that they were done and Netflix did a great uh job of showcasing something that none of us would have ever thought would have been a problem but we might be exploiting our planet for resources, and someday we may be without fish <laughs> in this case. So, well, I was remembering something that one of my friends read to me, and it just it made my head spin. And I thought, we're going to live in a world like Mad Max. No! Or Tank Girl. Ah! I mean, I love Mad Max and Tank Girl, don't get me wrong. I, I do enjoy a good um, apocalyptic... Uh, view of the future especially blade blade runner is my favorite even though blade runner the implications of that movie are more real than they are false so yeah about that let's move on and do ek machina is also another one that i would recommend even though it's lesser do he machina is Oh, that movie! That movie gave me the shivers, which normally films don't do. But it's just so intelligent. And moving on, um, Rotten is just—it's outstanding. It it truly is. It's um, very succinct in its information. And when they started talking about allergies, I thought. It just, in my day and age, then that makes me sound old, but we didn't really have peanut allergies, and it seems like the more additives we have in our food, the worse off we are, and then you have 
stuff like high fructose corn syrup and different additives and preservative preser preservatives didn't really come into effect until late 1960s when they wanted to extend the shelf life. But at what cost? What what cost of the consumer? And it just it, the list goes on and on and on and on and on, and it's so frustrating knowing. Well, can I do this? Can I do that? Does my body really know how to process this particular additive? More likely, the answer is more likely, often than not, the answer to that question is absolutely not. <laughs> but, anyways, it's a really, really good um, documentary series. I hope that they do more. I hope they add more to it because I would love to see exactly how deeply corrupt our food system is, but I can only pray that the situation becomes better before it gets worse, but this one didn't really paint a very rosy picture on humanity, which didn't make me feel very good. I'd, I, would more like, I would more like to think that there are people out there like the, the dairy farmer who, I mean, not the dairy farmer, but the, the chicken grower who was raising um, free range. Well, they were, they were in um, barns, but they could run around. They weren't all cooped up in unsurvivable, terrible conditions like most are. And, yeah, if, if you knew how some chickens lived, you probably would never consume chicken ever again. Probably become vegetarian. But, <laughs> Ugh, I thought, ah! Because, you know, I love chicken and I love eating chicken. So, I prefer my eggs to be cage-free. I prefer my chicken to be free-range just because I feel like it's more humane. But I'm the type of person that, I, I just, I believe in just being kind to the planet. If you're kind to the planet, the planet most likely will be kind back. We have to respect our, our uh, provider, our mother. Everything comes from Mother Earth. God put it there. I mean, is this a reason our ancestors knew this? But it's, <laughs> yeah, this is a uh, really good. I think this would be a good series to, to bring up in um, just economics class, economics class would be, woo, this would be a very, very hot button debate issue if they played a, an episode in class and maybe in nutrition, they could do the peanut allergy one. I mean, there's so many options and so much variety in this particular program and, <clears throat> and series. And I don't think, I don't know if they're going to do season two or not. But uh, it was stupendous. It was spectacular, and I applaud. I can only applaud using one hand. This is the hand. This is the sound of one hand applauding. Woo! <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> but on other in other news, they have season four of not season four. But the latest season of Voltron Defenders, Legendary Defenders, is coming out. So, <laughs> yeah, you know I'm excited. I think, yay, more space, Daddy. My favorite. Uh, <laughs> other than uh, Pit, I would say, between Shiro, I really love... Pidge has become a, a fave of mine. I just, I love her so much. <laughs> she and Allura, they're are amongst my favorite characters. Um, I've been doing a lot of projects. I've been writing quite a bit. I'm going to be doing a parody of, um, uh, Charlie Puth's How Long, which I, it's more based off of one of my favorite sports of all time, which is bowling, <laughs> which is not an official sport. Uh, <laughs> I'm writing Eros, which, uh, this Saros, I really haven't finished yet, but it's about a um, engineer, a train, yeah, conductor. Then I have another story I'm going to be giving to my friend because I think it could be published. I'll be doing, 
I came up with something. I would never do this. this. This is something unlike me. It is something entirely off the beaten path for me. But uh, I will be playing Thunder from I Love Imagine Dragons. They're one of my favorite bands of all time. I'll be playing Thunder in the background and beating my hands to uh, a drum line that I came up for it because I can. It would. Uh, they have a little sample of a drum line in Thunder in and of itself. I mean, you can, it's easy, if you were in a band, well, me, since I love rhythm, I hear it and I think, oh, yeah, that's the perfect time signature. It's very martial and it's, yeah, why not? Drum line, please. So I'm going to do that and whoever's in drum line, they can take it and run, run with it. Just please give me credit for it. Um, I don't care if you give me... Uh, at least give me a, a fair portion. <laughs> I'm not sure how much royalty I would get for it. Well, Imagine Dragons would get most of the royalty, but um, that's all I got to say. I've been doing so much and keeping myself really busy and got a lot to look forward to and I can feel everything is starting to change and I get to see Weird Al on the 29th and he dropped a single, it's Hamilton and Yay! Synchronicity, but... <laughs> I'll let you know how that goes, too, because he has a guest I never heard of. He has a guest called Emo Phillips. I thought, that's a cool name. Emo Phillips. Yeah, he must be really edgy and dark and goth. <laughs> well, goth and emo are completely different, so bad alchemist. <laughs> but he must wear all black and have tattoos and just be completely meh about everything it's like why what is life what is what is what is existence everything is suffering i hate everything <laughs> that's a really broad stroke of an emo but <laughs> you know i went through a really really emo phase at one point in time no i did actually that wasn't too too long ago that was back in 2016 i thought oh my life is so yeah, i almost went to a um a, a southern twang. I'll, I'll do it in the southern twang because it would be funnier. Oh, my life is, my life is over. <laughs> Since when I, did I become Louisiana? My life is over. My papa is no longer alive. I have nothing to live for. I am not going to be able to do anything more with my life. I have absolutely zero to look forward to. I should die. And that's how I felt. I mean, I just felt like everything had fallen apart. I didn't have anybody to share my life with. I still don't. It doesn't matter. But I'm enjoying myself. I'm living my life and going forward, uh, looking to actually make... My passion a reality and my project, my real, my dream project. I can't say what it is here over YouTube because I'm going to take it. But uh, <clears throat> it's business. And this is risky. Entrepreneurship always is. But hoping, hopefully I can go back to school, get an MBA and say, hey, I'll try this. And if it doesn't work, eh, I tried. There is no do, only try. <coughs> As Yoda once said. But that's my life right now it's it's getting more exciting so until next time long prosper ciao